is presiding. This is the document for the day that Kennedy Morris and I gave me Thank you. Judge, this is Plaintiff Kennedy Morris. She's bringing her best friend here because she got a new best friend. Kennedy, raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes. Say I do. I do. Judge, this is defendant Anya Mingo. She didn't say because her best friend told me that she's getting a new best friend. Why is that? Raise your right hand, Anya. No. I said do it. Do it. I do. So, Kennedy, you brought Anya here today because you were her best friend. She got a new best friend. So, let's hear the stories. When the judge is talking, no one is talking. So, Kennedy, let's hear your story first. I have proof about Anya Mingo. And she's have a friend that she didn't let me know that that she didn't have a new friend and I caught her and she never called me so like I caught her like what you doing and then she said I got a new best friend I said then I hung up and then she called me back and then I hung up and then she just started calling me and blowing up my phone first of all I called her and then she didn't, she didn't answer, and then I called her again. She answered that time, and then I said, You want to come um, somewhere with my, somewhere with me and my best friend? And then she said, No, baby. No. And no. And then I hung up the phone, and then I went by her house. And then I said, I said, Why, why you haven't been, um, doing my calls and she said because you got a new best friend ah oh, I got proof right here about her she hasn't been calling me or nothing I just I just kept hanging up she hasn't been calling me or nothing so I just hang up then I answer back the next time and then like she just didn't call me back first of all I invited you and you Okay, Anya, now since you have been charged with guilty, I just have to say this. Now, you have broke Kennedy's heart as you have got a new best friend, and y'all been friends since kindergarten, and y'all both should have been, like, there for each other. Best friends supposed to be there for each other. They're supposed to watch for each other. Y'all not supposed to be fighting and fussing and not calling each other, like, it's really your fault, Anya, because you got a new best friend, and she was your best friend since kindergarten. That's why she wouldn't answer your text messages, any calls. Okay, like, you can't just go to Sonic without me. I like, I love my slushies, too. Okay? That would have broke my heart, too, because I ain't had my slushies. Now, okay.
Okay, so the onion, onion. The last words I have to say before I go. Now you, your punishment is you have to break up with your best friend, the new best friend, for six months, and go back with your old best friend Kennedy Morris for six months, and you have to go on Instagram and take selfies and post it on your Instagram page for the whole year, and the caption will be "This is my best friend." Got it? Court is adjourned. Dang. All rise, just CC is sleeping. I told you. This is the document today. Sierra versus Cameron. Thank you. This is the plankton, Sierra Lathan. She's bringing her cousin here because she stole her part in the play. Sierra, raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Okay. The defendant, Karen Price, she's bringing her here because she stole her part in the play. Karen, raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Maybe. Ooh, <laughs> Order in the court, I got it. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Bye. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Karen Price, do not get smart with the officer, or you will be out of here. Now, let's get started with the situation. Okay, Sierra, now that you brought your cousin here because she stole your plate, let's hear the stories. Sierra, you're up first. So, the reason why I'm here because my cousin Cameron Price tried to steal my part in the play, and I have proof that she tried to steal my part because when I was in the bathroom, her and her friends came in the bathroom, and she didn't know I was in there, and she said when we have practice for the play, she was going to try to steal my play, my part. Okay, Cameron, let's hear your story. Well, she's accused me of doing something that I did not do. I actually didn't take her part. The director asked me one week when she was sick, she had the flu, did I want to do it because I'm her cousin. Oh, that attitude, you gotta lose it. But anyway. So he just asked me, he was like, do you want to do her part? I was like, yeah, sure. And when she came back, that following Tuesday, she found out that I had the part, and she did it no more. And now, she's accusing me of stealing her part. Like, what? Okay, so you need to lose the attitude, because I'm not liking it. It's disgusting. Okay? Now, back to what was said. You said that this is your cousin, and you were sick. Don't know. I wouldn't. Okay. And she took your part. She said that you accused her of taking her part. She did. So she accused you? I'm not. She not. I'm not accusing her of taking my part because I know she took my part. Because I wasn't out sick. I was on the yes, outfit. Yes, I wasn't out for Yes, she was. Listen! Hey! She's talking! Stop! Back to what you were saying? I wasn't out for a week. I was on the for three days and... Actually, I have the exercise right here. Oh, no, 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 yes, no, no, yes. Yes.
Thank you for being very calm and not getting in her face. Thank you, but I'm going to leave it up to jury. Now, jury, what is your decision?
don't know, and your mama let you, I just, hey, George, I would be Bianca because she, I know she older than me, but we've been talking because I like her, I don't like her. Like, why, why, why are you with a lady that's finna be 50? She's 49. And how old are you, about four? Jesus, you know what? What's the verdict, y'all? What's that decision? 